So I have already explained the motion of an electron beam inside the electric field and magnetic field in previous class. So now in this class I am going to explain the motion of an electron beam inside the electric field and magnetic field so combinedly or it is also known as a cross field. So when the electric field and magnetic field they are placed perpendicular to each other then what will happen to the motion of an electron beam then we are going to uh, see about or going to study about that. So we can see the beam of an electrons uh, they are passing through the electric field and magnetic field. So first of all when only electric field is applied. So due to electric field so upper plate it is positively charged and lower plate it is negatively charged. So electron beam as it is negatively charged so it will be attracted towards positive charge plate and it will eject out from the plate and it will strike on the screen S as we have denoted it by S. So that means when only electric field is applied then the electron it will attract it towards the positive plate and it will uh, uh, strike at position S on the screen. So at the screen sulfur uh, phosphorus is uh, placed and it produces the spark. Now when electric field is switched off and only magnetic field is switched on. So again so when electron move beam moves inside the magnetic field so it will follow the circular path and it will strike at position S dash on the screen as we can see. So the motion of um, electron due to magnetic field is given. So also it will produce spark. Now when electric field and magnetic field are present then the motion of electron it remains undeviated so due to the electric field and magnetic field and it will strike at position O on the screen. So now let me just uh, explain this mathematically. So as we know the force due to electric field it is given, given as E, E where E small e is charge of electron and capital E is electric field intensity. So force due to magnetic field it is given as BEV as we have already discussed in previous class. So B this is the magnetic field and this is E is charge of an electron and V is the velocity. So since the electron it moves undeviated in the presence of electric field and magnetic field. When the electric field and magnetic field they are placed perpendicular to each other electron moves through the field without getting deviated. So that means we can say so we know so what happens force due to electric field is equals to force due to magnetic field on the charge of charge or electron. So we say, uh, simplify this equation so E is F E will be equals to E dot E and Fb will be equals to Bev. So charge it gets cancelled. So V equals to E by B. So from this uh, equation we can calculate the velocity of an electron beam inside the uh, field. So also this experiment it explains that electron it is affected by electric field also magnetic field also but when they are placed perpendicularly then it moves through those field without getting deviated.